you've been feeling like the world's against you, like life isn't fair, well, news flash. Life isn't fair. But now what? You got your payoff. Some guy on the internet said the title of his video in the first seconds. So what are you gonna do? Keep doing what you've been doing? Or are you one of those who's gonna try and find a way out of this? If you are, I suggest staying to the end. If you're anything like me, things not going your way or how you planned them to go can be pretty frustrating. The solution will seem simple or seem obvious to you, but to the world around you, it might seem like the most illogical thing. And that could make you feel like you might be going insane, which might make you even more mad. When I got the idea for this video, I was asking myself if I should deal with anger by trying to zen it away with like meditation or mindfulness and kind of recenter myself, or if I should just let it out entirely just scream into a pillow or snap branches off of trees. But the more I thought about the topic and the more I prepared for this video, the more it became clear that anger is really a distraction. It's a strong emotion, probably the strongest that we have, and it's blinding. The things that we're angry about more times than not are out of our control. And 100% of the time, they've already happened. There's a great quote that says, life is 30% what happens to you and 70% how you respond to what happens. And even though it might not feel like it, anger is a choice. That initial shock of things not going the way you planned is natural, but the choice to stew in the unfairness or inequality of the world isn't hurting anybody but yourself. So what should we do instead? Before I get to that, let's establish one thing for those of you who still are struggling to accept the fact that life isn't fair and that's okay. The inequalities of the world we live in are a simple byproduct of the fact that we're all different. We all have natural strengths and weaknesses. None of us are made exactly the same. That's what makes our world so beautiful. So accept it. Some of us are naturally going to be in better positions in certain areas, but it doesn't matter what cards you're dealt. It matters how you play the hands at your disposal. So how do we best do that? For me, the first step to getting out of a cycle is focusing on doing it once. Whatever mountain you're trying to climb right now, Give yourself permission to fail as many times as possible because once you break that barrier once, you'll have the formula to doing it over and over again. And once you do it once, you'll always believe that you can do it. Give yourself permission to not believe. But once you do that, suspend that disbelief long enough for you to figure out how to make it happen. Think about the time when you were learning to ride a bike. At first, it seemed like a tall task. You couldn't balance, you're falling, you're scraping your knees, the training wheels have come off and all of a sudden it's a different game. But when you first got it, when you first started riding on your own and felt the balance, that was a feeling you never forgot. And that's how we got the term, it's just like riding a bike. It's something that'll never leave you. And all of it stemmed from you having one successful experience. I'm sure if you look back at your life at some of your best successes, all it took was doing it once. So my challenge to you is, what's one challenge that you can pursue doing once? Figure that out and go after it, no matter how many times you fail. Because when it's all said and done, when you've achieved all that you'll achieve, virtually no one is gonna go back and talk about how messy the road was to get there. And nine times out of 10, if people are doing that, they've got some issues of their own to deal with. I don't see anyone clowning Usain Bolt because he wasn't able to walk when he came out of the womb. All of us have failed. So give yourself grace in the pursuit. Now I know all this sounds easier said than done. So let me give you one tool to help you along your way that might make things a little bit easier because there are gonna be challenges. That's what this whole video is about. Something that's helped me along the way to breaking down barriers in my life has been imagining and visualizing myself hitting resistance and breaking through. Picture yourself wanting to procrastinate, but deciding to do otherwise. Picture yourself not wanting to go to the gym and see yourself doing it anyways. Picture yourself wanting to eat that donut, but choosing a banana instead. These bad habits that we do on a daily basis can actually be anchor points for change if we visualize the right response to them. Every time we give in to bad habits, we're allowing what happens to us to control us. I had an urge to do something that won't help me in the future. We see the urge as the problem, but really it's the response. We weren't prepared for the temptation. So we gave in. If we can find ways to prepare ourselves for the moments where we've fallen short in the past, there will be no choice but to lead a better life in the future. I'll see you guys soon.